definitely no way back to Bork. So I'm just having a look to see if he can play a containing safety at this end of the table. I don't think he can get to the potting angle of the red closest to the left corner. No, he can't. So I'll just trust in the table. Well, he's left the red to the right middle, which is the last thing he wanted to do. It all depends now on the angle of this red. Well, he could hold for the pink. One. So that was a mistake from Ronnie. I don't really know what he expected to, to achieve by just rolling to that red. Strange one. Yeah, I can only think he was trying to leave it tight in the cushion. So Ding wouldn't have the angle to play for a colour. Eight. But bad misjudgment, you'd have to say. He's just thinking, how awkward will I be on the black? May even play it for the pink here. And he has played for the black. I thought he played for the pink, it was... He could have had an angle maybe to nudge those two reds by the pink. Twenty-four. So no more easy reds after this one. Needs a good one. angle on the colour. Thirty-two. Well, maybe there's just one. It's two off from the left-hand side cushion. Well, this could be the key. You'll have to play it with a little bit of pace, you feel. But if this goes right... It could be a frame winner. Played it well. That red nearly crept and stopped the black from going, but it's turned out perfect. Looks sharp, Ding. 46. Very impressive start, this. 47. Apart from that one positional shot off the brown. Okay, he's needed two chances, 55. but he's taken the second one ever so well. Possible of a century in this opening frame. 57. His cue ball control is wonderful, isn't it? One thing it'll be interesting to see as the match progresses is his long game, because that has been poor in the last 77. few tournaments I've seen him. Struck this cue ball with immense authority. 83. Well, no century, but that was an Ding excellent start from Ding Zhang Wei. And now he's looking at playing the right side cushion first. Which, because there's a bit of distance between the red and the pocket, so that's not easy. Direct again. <laughs> well, not the way he played. One. I say he couldn't get to the bottom <laughs> angle. This was an outrageous fluke, believe me. He didn't play it like that. I know he's good, but he ain't that good. I expect him to get it. Well, it was a tricky one. brown. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of the positives, if any, if you're playing Ronnie O'Sullivan. There's not many because he's so good, but because his position's so good, if he misses, you're pretty much certain to be on a ball. Well, not in that instance. Well, that was a good bit of queuing. Yeah. Excellent. Playing the double, and One. it was half a chance, and it could go in. He did look at it, so you wouldn't call it a fluke. And he's playing top spin, so he's playing for an open red. Oh, he did play it. That's why I thought he was aiming quite high in the cue ball there to play a stun. Obviously, the angle was different than we could see from the commentary box. And yeah, that wasn't Seven. easy.
thing finds a way to just contain 50. the situation and as in the first frame is there's not many players in the game that Ronnie truly respects as a player and I know Ding is one of them chance for this red much too thick a little bit of hassle his bridge hand normal on the table and you see another long bridge just One. went in the side of the pocket thought for a minute he'd missed it good pot though you have to say of course no positional problems here just pot the blue right in to the opposite middle I'm not certain if the red just to the left of the black is available if it is he may well play for it six seven Into the pink here. I think the angle in the blue dictates he plays the shot. Mm. Don't take your eye off the pot. Things in we. 50. Ronnie's first real chance of the match. One. Sure, what he played there. I mean, I presume he's just stand up for the red to right middle, but eight well short. Yeah, just I mean, it's an easy stun for the red you see there along the black cushion, but try to force a bit of an angle. Mm. Ronnie O'Sullivan, disappointing eight. visit to the table for Ronnie O'Sullivan. You have to say, well, I can't believe he hasn't played for the red and the black cushion, John. Do you? Very strange. No, it's like the brown we talked about in the last frame. He's very tentative with it. Maybe just feeling it a little bit One. out there I'd, for whatever reason. Four. This red and Ronnie will need snookers. Forty-five. Just growing and growing in confidence. 73. Ooh, left handed as well. <laughs> well, 73. And the not Ronnie or Sullivan S with his left hand, but he won't mind. <laughs> Ding Jun Wee leads by three frames to nil. Well, Mr. The Red, the same jaw as he did that red in the previous frame. First knuckle. Well, there's a surprise, but has he got the cover with the brown? Put his hand up to apologise. Good pot. Oh. Purposely leaving himself on this red possibility now he could Six. bring the black into play. It's risky, but he needs that black play, he feels. Well, that couldn't have worked out better. That was lovely, wasn't it? It's a nice little angle on the pack. He wants to miss the open red. Just get into the left hand side and screw the cue ball back towards the right side. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. 22. Twenty three. First chance he's had in the match around the black spot. This will even if you think he's playing poorly, this is normally bread and butter stuff for Ronnie Sullivan. Thirty. You always expect him to score. 
31. And the angle on the black. There's one good positional shot needed here. And that's 39. it. So no need for any more cannons. There's enough reds in the open to win the frame at this visit now. 46. Four more reds. 47. 54. He's 55. Take care with this black. I don't expect him to miss it, but it's easy to decel and just flick a bit of side on. Miss it thin, but he hasn't done. But, but that's per normal Ronnie Sullivan. He gets to the, the point of winning frames so quickly. 63. Yes, and at the start of this frame, when he missed the red into the right middle and left Ding Jun Wei, it has to be said, a not too difficult red into the yellow pocket and I was very surprised he missed it well, that would give Ronnie a little bit of heart because 68. it was looking like Ding was really getting into full stride and wasn't going to miss anything yeah we always say in matches when you're two three four frames behind and you want to get back into a match you always need a little bit of help from your opponent and Ronnie's had that in this frame with that miss from Ding 74 you have to say 75. this break has been normal service resumed. It's made this look easy. 83. There's a possible 141 on here. That would have been 91. with blacks. 91. Consider the three frames it's gone before he's looked. You'd have to say not that confident, but as I said, this is his bread and butter stuff. That's the century up. The line of that, and that'll be enough. So he did get his first frame on the scoreboard. They go to the mid session interval, though, and Ding Jun Wei leads Ronnie O'Sullivan by three frames to one. Oh, well, Foul. I'll say that. He Miss. missed them. Now, this is one Engine instance Weaver. where I don't think... I think he'll ask Ronnie to play from where it is now. Or play it himself. Just couldn't get to it. Pretty aggressive safety shot. And it looks to be a very good one. I don't think Ronnie can get to the left edge of the pack. Maybe forced into playing a pot here. It's a red to the right corner. This needs good cueing. Dead straight. Wow. Oh. Needed good cue in. And he got good cue in. Beautiful shot. Yeah, I think oh. wow was the perfect word. You couldn't hit a ball better than that. 86. I've seen Sean Murphy potted two of those reds, pretty much identical in his match against Mark Williams. One, he just dropped in dead weight. And another one, he's stunned run through. Beautiful shots. That's just incredible. Oh, Kieran. come on, stop what? it. I mean, that just, well, I'm going to say he misses it because he can't keep this up. I mean, this will just be, this is even harder than the other one. What do I know? What a pot that is. Pink and black tied up at the moment. Five. And for once, Ronnie didn't get the right side of the blue. He's looking to see where to leave the cue ball for the red that's closest to the right corner. If he does get on it, it'd be interesting to see if he plays some sort of cannon Ten. on the black and red. Try and bring the black into play. He's playing top spin. Left hand side. Try and check the cue ball at the table, but couldn't avoid the red. Will he take the long blue? And I don't see where the red comes from, so is it worth playing the pot? Looks like he is though. Well, there's another wow. Yeah, those are the kind of shots you, you practice. The professional, those straight blues. Now 
That's another wonderful shot. 17. Forced the cue ball through the pack. Watch where the cue ball almost bounces it. Now you see, the cue ball leaves the table. That was the only way it could get up the table for a colour. If you get the cue ball to jump over the reds. Not a foul shot, of course, as long as you hit the object ball first. Still having to chase this break because 19. the uh, availability of the colours isn't good. Twenty. Won't mind being on the green here. Obviously, that red just above the brown goes to the opposite corner. It's starting to look a different 24. animal. Facial expressions looks focused now. It's a little bit short of confidence in the first part of this match, which is strange for Ronnie O'Sullivan. 29. 30. 30. Trying to use the knuckle of the middle 36. pocket just to bring it away from the cushion. That beautifully. 41. I mean, this break has just been incredible. 42. Pink and black have never moved from the start of the break, but somehow he's managed to keep it going. A little grimace there. So maybe the top red of the three doesn't go to the right corner. He's just got enough angle on the blue. So I'll play for that red into the left middle. It's imperative when he pots the red gets a good angle on the colour. 48. The outside red of the two possibly gets to the right corner. Key shots coming up now in this frame. 53. He should be able to pot this red I think and leave the pink to the left middle. Fifty-four. Excellent. Well, I'll take it back, Stephen. He can win the flame without... Uh, well, he's now got the pink in play, but what a contribution this has been. Top draw. Yeah, apologies, John. I was just about to say, this. not many players would have been able to pull this break off. Can't believe that. Ding does need a snooker. He's 52 behind with 51 on. Careless, but as we say, Ding Junhui needs a snooker. Without that, it should be 3 2. 54. Well, he decided to go all out for the pot. This goes in. That will be end of frame. I well, imagine Deng Junwei will front. stay in his seat. Marvellous break, Ronnie O'Sullivan made before the mid-set, 103, and an even better 60 to win that one. One. Struggled in, but then it went. Five. Important visit to the table this. Ting Jin Wei's only scored eight points in the previous two frames. Ten. Doesn't want to be straight on this black. Seventeen. But if he gets this, strong favourite to win the frame at this visit. Eighteen. Yes, still he kept his head there. That's a secret to those shots. One. In between the yellow and brown. 
checking it with a bit of touch aside and you could not have played that better. Couldn't have hit him any better and couldn't have expected a better result than that. Good shot. Forty. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better. Twenty. I remember years ago when I watched Jimmy and Kirk Stevens in the Masters and I taped that match and watched it over and over to sort of learn and this is the kind of match that if you were wanting to learn the game you'd watch this. Oh, wonderful. Wow. Pot success average. That's very impressive. What sort of angle has he got in this red? Can he follow through and flick the red that's to the left of the black away? Six. Mm, it's close. He can definitely can in the black. Maybe too much angle to only flick the red. Unless he pinches a bit of the pocket. Mm, didn't even attempt it. And how well did he strike that? What Seven. a shot that is. What a shot. You won't see many shots better struck than that this week. Well, that's a bonus, the red going over the middle. Yeah, pretty sure he's playing into the pink there. 13. He could play top spin off two cushions here, left hand side, go into the bunch, but. That red that's in between black and the main bunch may stop on playing that shot. Again, playing directly into them, and this time it hasn't worked out. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 80. He's left Ding Jun Wei a simple return to the ball end, and gives him maybe the advantage. Big sigh as soon as he played that, knew he did it all wrong. So, is this the chance that Deng Junwei was waiting for? And with this chance, Deng Junwei has got the pink, blue, and the bought colours available. And I think that red just to the right of the black may be available, so he can bring the black into play as well. So, it's not a bad chance. This is some of the best snooker I've seen Ding Jun Wei play since he won the UK Championship a couple of years ago. Six. Seven. Fourteen. Well, if you're going on form in this match, you'd say heavy favourite to win at this visit, but the frame to get over that winning line is always the most difficult to win whoever did come through this match would have 20. real confidence they can go on and have a big say in this title the players that have gone out obviously it's the top 21. 16 in the world so anyone's capable of winning it but coming through a match like this would surely fill you with confidence The pink goes to the left corner. So pretty much where the red is here. Just to pot the pink and follow through, flick those three reds into the open. Well. 28. So intent on leaving the right angle on the pink. Forgot about the pot on the red. How many times do we see this happen? Incredible. That is incredible. Completely took the pot for granted. There's only one thing in his mind there. Where was he going to leave the cue ball? Completely forgot about the pot.
Three. Ding Jun Wei took all the open red, so be a good effort to, to score plenty here. Wow, what a shot Four. that was with his left hand. What an effort this is to try and nudge them open. Surely not, surely not. What an effort. Six. Perfect line. Just a bit more pace if you were being picky. Wonderful effort, wasn't it? Ryan O'Sullivan, six. Just get to the middle of the cue ball. Ooh, where's this cue ball going? Okay. Mm, good pot. Oh. Now is he going to stop short of the ball line? He's going to get a nice kiss on the green. Kiss on the green leaves him on the brown. Not easy to win the match at this visit. Five. Be interesting to see what angle he gets in the black. If he's got a high black here, which he has, so Six. He, he has to play the cannon now in the two reds on the right hand side on the cushion. Didn't get into the cue ball enough. Shall we? 30. Not getting the blue off his spot. I think Ronnie was thinking the blue would be a blocker. Well, if Ronnie's thinking of taking this red on, I think if you miss this, you very often you just leave the red over the pocket because it's a thin cut. It was worth a go. I think this red cuts to the middle though. He's had one great chance. If he was to lose this frame, well, he'd suffer a little bit with Dean John Wait. One. No, he's really going to bounce hard enough off that board cushion to be on the blue. I doubt it. I mean, you could think of just rolling up to the yellow or brown, but I don't think that was in Ronnie's mind. Well, he's looking at the yellow. No, he's looking at the brown. So we'll be playing the pot. Well, how many middle Ryo Sullivan one. pocket pots has he missed by hitting the near jaw <coughs> today? Yeah, missed a similar one to that early on. Was it the first frame? Or the second frame, very early in the match, he missed one. He hit this better, to be fair. Very close to the pot. But unfortunately, I'm missing it. It's perfect on the red. Ding just wants an angle in the pink here. Should he get this red? One. Maybe we'll play top spin. Touch of right hand side. Off the side cushion. That's what you'll be looking to do. Mm, but just didn't catch them full enough. So the mistake, the Miss Brown from Seven. Ronnie, has not cost him. And Ding, you saw that sort of resigned look on his face. Nice 23 point lead. Ding Jun Wee said. Good safety shot. Doesn't want to put this other red over the right corner pocket here. It's going to be very careful. He has done, but it's just managed to get to the cushion. Very risky shot. It was the only shot he had, but very risky. Mm, 
This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Needs the green to come to his rescue, and it hasn't. So Ding Jun Wei, this is your opportunity. Ronnie slumps back in his seat. Could that be his last shot in this year's Betfred Masters? Seven times champion on the brink of defeat. Hmm. Wow, that was... I know we've seen his long game has been poor, but that was a bit of a twitch, that one, I'm afraid. It was a knock. I thought he might have stunned the cue ball run for the black to the same pocket, because I think it would have made the pot easier. The way he played it, he was flicking side on it to try and get the cue ball through a gap. So he's had plenty of chances, one. Ding Jun Wee, in this frame. If there's one thing over the many years of what Ronnie O'Sullivan play, he never wilts under pressure. Seven. No, and I think up with John Higgins, one of the best games I've ever seen at clearing up when you have to to win a frame. Big question: Can Ding Jun We recover from this frame and win the match? Fourteen. It's a big ask, I think now. Sixteen. So green, brown, blue, and pink to keep his hopes alive. And as Stephen said. Really heap a bit of pressure on Ding Jun Wei, who's had two golden opportunities to win this match and has not taken them. 23. 28. It'll be a mighty relief, Ronnie O'Sullivan, if he knocks that pink in. He's just potting the black just to make certain the clearance was done. But it must have been on two occasions at least that he thought he was out of this year's Betts Fred Masters. What's going to happen next? Ding Jun Wei, 5-4. Oh, he's got that break much too thick. He was fortunate not to hit the red that's come up to the bulk end on the way up, but he still left it to left middle. Ding was feeling any pressure One. from the chances he missed. That's exactly what he wanted, an easy opener in this frame. Certainly more angle than he wanted. Into the pink. So he's playing the pot. And he's got it. He was always going to have a problem Seven. getting a position on the colour. He's just about on the blue. Running down the line. Beautiful safety. This red does pop, but boy, it's difficult, particularly he's going to have to play it at pace. Oh, but that's a cracker. Oh. That is a cracker, man. He's to stop short the bolt line. And he has done. Chance number two. It's all about making a frame winning contribution and a match winning one, of course. All of a sudden, that cue oh. ball that he's had in a string for the whole match is, is getting away from him now. This is a very tough pot. No, oh, great pot. Great pot. Five. But again, not perfect. Didn't hit that one well. He almost missed the pot and he's lost the cue ball to the corner pocket. Oh. Things on wee five. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Definitely looked very edgy there. He's feeling it, no doubt. It's been so good this afternoon, Ding Jun Wee. Now all of a sudden 
As I said, the cue ball controls eluded him. As we see, a lovely pot from Ronnie. One. And he doesn't look the same person, Dink. Body language, everything. Well, looks as though he can. Played this perfectly. Good shot. Six. So clever, you know. He played that. He knew he'd be hampered on the black, but he needed that angle on the black because they weren't. Nothing was potable prior. Wonderful shot. Forty. Should still be able to stun into the red directly above the black. Yeah, that was caused by having a little bit too much angle. That's why he lost the cue ball there. Wasn't able to. Get into that red with a thick enough contact. You need half ball, you got quarter ball. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 21. Didn't want to risk trying to get back to the ball again, but he's left this red on. Ronnie's long point today has been excellent. So a 65% is excellent. Six. Black angle on the black here so he can kiss the red that's to the left of the five. Seven. A little bit straight. May just have enough angle to force the cue ball up. And he's got a red to the right middle. It's not the one he was playing for. 14. Fifteen. Only two reds available to the right corner. Twenty-two. Seventeen points needed. So it's three of these remaining reds. Two of them are nicely 22. available. There's one on the top cushion, so it's not a formality. Thirty. Trying to nudge the red 31. open. Don't know whether that was the right choice. Now he's run out of position. Yeah, I think it was the right shot myself, but I just think the last couple of frames, the tension forced both players to lose complete control of that cue ball. Wonderful pot. Pretty disappointment behind him not being good on the blue. So just the red 36. needed. And Ding Wei will need a snooker. And we're going into a decider. 37. Yeah, I have no doubts whether Ding can win this match now. He can prove me wrong if he gets a 45. golden chance in amongst the black, but the chances, the previous frame to this, were glorious. 51. Well, we did say, Stephen, though, for it to be a classic, it needed to go to decide it. And now it is one of the all-time great Masters matches, 60. this is. 63. I've never said, well, it's the pressure that's got to him. 67. Seventy-two. 78. Wonderful. Five. Wonderful. Five. He's been let off to hook the field by Ding Jun Wei. Deciding frame. Ding Jun Wei to break. Ding Jun Wei breaks off and that's by a long way the match of the tournament so far. And it's not a good break. Ding will already be in his chair fearing the worst. He'll be thinking if Ronnie pots this red. He's played his last shot in this match. Oh, 
Oh, how well did he play it? How well did he play it? That's how you get to be one of the best players in the world, if not the best, is to be able to play shots like that under pressure. Eight. Nine. But from 3 0 behind, he's played absolutely superb. 70. Yeah, I mentioned before Christmas, two or three tournaments, he, he just wasn't playing well at all. 24. But it looks like he's been putting some work on, working in the practice table. Looks a, a lot sharper. 25. So, key shot. But the key shot coming 31. up, it'll be the green, just before the right middle pocket with some right hand side. 34. Mm. Yeah, he looked to the, see if he could pop the red to the left middle, couldn't hampered on this. How many times right, has he them. missed to the middle? 34. It's in the near jaw first. Three occasions I can think of. Three glaring ones. Mm -hmm. He'll be annoyed. Didn't make the most of that chance. One. He got down as if he was looking at the pot on the green there, which I can't believe he's going to play that. And again, it looks he's looking pretty positively at it, but no, I think he's going to decide on the roll up behind the brown. He's playing the pot, I feel. Mm. Shows you. One. Don't think he's thinking as clearly as he was early on in the match. A very strange short choice. I mean, what is he going to play next? Surely he wasn't planning on leaving himself this red that, he's, that Ronnie's going to take on. Oh. One. Wonderful shot. Again, look at how still the head is. Deserves to win the match, that shot. That one good shot. Nine. Is this one coming up? Leave him a nice choice of reds. Well, I decided to go in and folly, and it's worked out absolutely perfect. This will be one of Ronnie O'Sullivan's greatest victories in my eyes. 16. Sometimes we question his attitude, but there's been nothing wrong with it today. He's hung on in there, okay, a little bit of help from his opponent, but now a chance to win a match 17. that he never looked like winning. Not the best position shot there from Ronnie. Should have avoided the kiss on the brown. Ding may think he can get back to the table. All depends on this. 25. Couldn't have played it better. Yeah, it's been a wonderful match. 32. Unfortunately for Ding, he's just weakened slightly when he's seen the winning line. 33. Oh, well, credit to Ronnie Sullivan. 3 0 down. You have to say, it didn't look good at that stage, but he's played some fantastic snooker to win this match. Yeah, the opening red in this frame, okay, he didn't win the frame the match from that visit, but the opening red. 41. Was just wonderful. And then the red that Ding left him. That what do you have to say? Strange shot choice from Ding. He could have rolled up by the bulk colour. <coughs> Forty-eight. Yeah, I think even I would have rolled up by the bulk colour there. Well, that is pushing it a little bit, but <laughs> you know, that, it didn't look as though he was going to get any advantage by potting the the brown. Fifty-six. It was a it was a heads gone moment, wasn't it? Yeah.
not thinking straight. They play a odd number of frames, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. He's already a seven times winner. You won't want to bet 73. against it being eight. Not playing the pot on the brown. And that will be it, and Ding Jung Wee will be left wondering what happened there in the last couple of frames. But Ronnie O'Sullivan, fair play, has stuck in there. And when he's given his opportunities, he's played unbelievable snooker. And he's in the quarter final. He beats Ding Jong Wei by six frames to five. What a match!